In our story with the Chinese discovery of gunpowder, the legendary fire drug that gave rise to not just new weapons like the gun, but also new types of wounds. The treatment of which by battlefield surgeons was the link to a fresh understanding of human anatomy. Armed with this new anatomical knowledge, people now began to think about the human body in a whole new way. One that is still driving technology today as a machine. Okay, good fun. Shit. This is Roland Justin, one of the most sophisticated robots in the world. 3D stereoscopic vision, massive parallel processing power, reaction time of one millisecond. Which means if I throw this ball, he can catch it. Justin's success rate at catching balls is more than 80%, which is quite an achievement. And he's part of a program here in Germany to produce a new generation of robots for use in space. We like to think of robots as a purely modern invention, but they're not. The idea of mechanical devices that mimic human movement is hundreds of years old, and it comes straight from Vesalius's dissection of human bodies. Inspired by Vesalius's anatomical drawings, the philosopher René Descartes developed the radical idea that the body be viewed simply as a machine, one that could only be called human when combined with a soul. Thinking of the human body as a purely mechanical system was one of the defining ideas of the 18th century. And one of the first ways that people put the philosophy into practice was with toys. Inventors began making automata, mechanical toys driven by clockwork that mimicked the movements of the human body. The more automata they made, the more sophisticated the mechanics became, 